Today, I'm going to make the Mano War Cocktail. I got to tell you, it's an acquired taste. I'm still working to acquire it. Uh, the cocktail is named after a horse, though, that ran in 1919 and 1920. Uh, the Triple Crown wasn't a thing, but he won 20 out of 21 races those two years, uh, winning what would have been the equivalent in 2018 of $3.1 million. Super impressive. Horse's name's Man of War. So that's what we're getting into. It is made of bourbon, sweet vermouth, Grand Marnier, and orange bitters. I think the original recipe calls for Angostura, but hmm. All right, so we're going to start with bourbon, and I'm using Shire Distilling's Percheron. That is their bourbon finished with French oak staves. So I use two and a quarter ounces. I don't think that's what the original recipe calls for, but I like a very boozy drink when it comes to whiskey. Then we're going to use a quarter ounce of lemon juice. Again, I think the original recipe calls for more than that. I find it to be very overpowering. Half ounce of sweet vermouth. And while the original recipe does call for Grand Marnier, I am apparently out, have not stocked up, so I am going to use triple sec. Not exactly, but we'll make do. Half ounce of that. And a few dashes of orange bitters. All right, you can stir it, shake it. I like the little ice crystals, so I'm just gonna give it a quick shake. I like to serve it in a chilled glass, so I'm gonna go grab that from the freezer. All right, the audio got screwed up on my original recording, so I'm doing a voiceover. All right, strain into your chilled cocktail glass and enjoy. Now, like I said, this is an acquired taste, so checking out how we did, it's better than some I've made. Still needs some work. I would maybe switch out the bourbon for a rye and let some of that spiciness carry through in the cocktail. Definitely a little less triple sec or Grand Marnier, whichever one you're using. Uh, there's a lot of variation and a lot of room for improvement. So I encourage everybody to try different things. Let me know what you like or what you think. Until next time, cheers.